Uh, okay, so here's a quick look at the 3V gear uh, Rovor. Uh, it's the Boule sleeping bag. Uh, this is the one on their site that's rated uh, between 14 and 45 degrees uh, Fahrenheit as a sleeping bag. Um, there is a common thread when I review 3V gear, and that is that um, no matter how much I look at the features and compare it to other things, I just keep coming back to one thing, which is the price. This sleeping bag is $35, which is insanely cheap. Uh, and that doesn't mean it's a bad sleeping bag. It's incredibly well made. If I was given this blind and asked what I thought the price was and didn't know who made it, I'd probably guess that it was 100 to 150 bucks. So uh, that is, I think, the big selling point for every time I see stuff from 3V Gear, whether it's one of their backpacks or one of their hammocks is, I'm always just amazed at how low the price is. Um, and the low price is what I think makes this such a usable sleeping bag. Um, because I've been testing it quite a lot of the summer. I went to a summer camp and slept in it. And it's one of those sleeping bags where it's so cheap, you just don't worry about it. Because if someone borrows it or it gets lost, you're kind of not too fast, which means it becomes a sleeping bag that you take with you everywhere. So this sleeping bag, I think, is one of those super useful bags where you don't feel precious about it, where you keep it in the trunk of your car or you uh, take it with you as a spare. And to be honest, if you were camping in the cold, you'd just buy two of these and you'd have an incredibly, incredibly sub-zero sleeping bag that costs less than 70 bucks. So um, this sleeping bag just makes me smile because it's just so incredibly good on price uh looking up close it's uh um it's insulated with a um uh god i'm having a brain melt at the moment so it's got um uh, a liner um and a sort of internal um insulation uh that's synthetic there you go it's come back my brain's finally working again um it's got an internal stash pocket as well which is always useful for me i always keep a few little things in there including my spare contact lenses for when i wake up in the morning so i'm not rummaging around for them um it's got a really nice shoulder baffle kind of here so it tucks in round your kind of shoulders and neck when you're wearing it um at night which is a really nice feature uh it's got um drawstrings uh, toggle drawstrings at the top and further down um, just to bring the bag in a bit tighter if you need it to uh, and it rolls up into its own um, stuff sack as well um, the other thing is and you might notice the bend of my camera as i'm videoing this is uh, as someone that's five foot six i very rarely have an issue with fitting inside sleeping bags or gear but I know that there are plenty of people that are apparently are taller than me um, this is seven feet long so again if you're somebody that's incredibly tall and has a nightmare finding a sleeping bag this is seven feet long <laughs> so uh, again this is the sleeping bag for you so um, up close uh, I deliberately dribbled some water onto this earlier just to show that it, the coating repels water a little bit as well which is nice it's obviously quite a breathable fabric uh, it's a weird thing to say in a review, but I actually spent two nights in this when I felt incredibly unwell and had a fever. And for some reason, it was the perfect bag. It seemed to wick the moisture away from my fever really well and just kept me warm when I got super cold. So um, this poor old sleeping bag's had a battering from me over the summer, and it's become one of my favorite sleeping bags. The bright colors mean I find it's quite easy to find in all my pack of stuff. Um, but really, the party piece of this sleeping bag is not that it's the greatest sleeping bag of all time for insulation or lightweightness or for through hikers that are looking to shave the weight of a peanut off their kit. This sleeping bag's party piece is that it's seven feet long, that you can leave it in the trunk of your car for emergencies. You can leave it underneath the stairs for when your drunk mate's staying over and you, they've just crashed on the floor. Um, and it's the sort of thing you can take with you where you don't worry if people, if you leave it lying around, because if it gets stolen, it's 35 bucks so there you go slightly weird review but um I'm, I'm just impressed with this in a weird way so if it feels like a weird review that's why um but yeah so uh this is it it's the 3v gear uh sleeping bag uh they call it the rover Bull Bull. i'm not quite sure what why that is um and i'll put a link in the description uh for a more in-depth written blog that i've done as well about this uh, and if you could please like and subscribe, it really, really helps my channel as well. So there you go. Quick look at the 3V gear sleeping bag that's come out recently that I am impressed with.